welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. Today's tutorial is going to be how to mix your foundation colors to get a perfect shade for you or for somebody else that you're working on. So you, you can say you have two different colors, one more tan, one more light, or one really dark, one really light, and how you can mix them up to create a shade that's going to work exactly for what you're looking for. Let's just get started. The first one we'll start off with has been actually what has been my most favorite foundation combination yet is my taking one that is a full coverage foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear and this is in the color Dusk. Now, this is far too dark for me. This is the L'Oreal True Match and this is in the color, this is in the color Natural Beige W4, which is far too light. This is like porcelain. So you want to make sure you always have this in there and always have one of these. Now, you don't always have to have it. You want to make, those are just tools that can help you. And you can also use the back of your hand, which I used for quite a long time until I had a actual, you know, metal mixing pan. So what you want to do is you want to take the Estee Lauder Double Wear and you want to uncap the L'Oreal True Match, and you're just going to want to pour some on your little mixing. Now, you, if you get too much, just scoop it back in there like I did. So, you have this one on there, which is a lighter coverage, and then this one, which is a darker one. And so, you can just put it on the side. So, you can see clearly there that this is light and liquidy, and this is dark and much thicker in consistency. So what you want to do is, I just prefer to take the finger, is you just take a finger in the dark and then you just blend it in with your lighter one and just blend it all over. I am not neat about it. I just blend it all over and eventually I just blend all of the colors together. Now this is your initial base shade. This may or may not be perfect for you but it'll give you a good idea as to whether or not you need to go add more of the dark or add more of the light. So this color ends up looking like that. And um, I will put it on my hand for you of what it looks like when it's blended in. It looks like that. So you might think, okay, that's too light. So you can just add a little bit more of your dark. If you can't tell, it's dark to darken up. And what happens is one of these, the Double Wear, is a very full coverage foundation and the L'Oreal True Match is a much, much lighter one. So you can just add the two to get kind of a medium coverage. Now, when you have extras of the things, I recommend grabbing some samples from Sephora and they give you samples of foundations in these little tubes right here and I just reuse them when I'm done. So I just clean it out and then you can just open them up like that and then you just scoop up what you had, right? So, or you can use your spatula, which it happens to be right here. Now there wasn't too much actually on here. And then you just put it in there. So the next time you need to use this color, you have it, boom, right there. It's taking a heavier coverage versus you want a little bit more luminosity in your makeup. So next up is the Cap on D Lock It Tattoo Foundation and this is in the color, what color are you? L48. And then taking the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and this is in the color Neutral, N12. No, that's not right. This is in the color Soft Ivory, Classic Ivory, Neutral. I don't know, why do they make it so hard? This one just has one name. So you want to take, do I want a heavier coverage with a little bit of luminosity or do I want a lighter coverage with just a little bit of heavier in the places that I have problem areas? Decide what you want and then go from there. So if you want more, I'm going to go with more, I want a lighter coverage with just heavier spots. So I will start off with the Dream Lumi. I don't really like this by itself, but that's a whole separate video. So you take a little bit on there and you can see it's more liquidy, it starts to run. You can see it running down the pan. Versus the Kat Von D, which you squirt on there. Not running. 
running away, not going anywhere. So you just take a little bit of the Kat Von D, which comes out very, you, that's like way too much, right? Okay, so you take a little bit and then you just mix it in there. Now this I find to be a very watery foundation, um, which is great, I guess, if you want a lighter coverage. So you just proceed to take, mix, grab the Kat Von D and just mix it in there. And you can feel it start to become thicker. It becomes a thicker consistency. Now, if you want a lighter coverage, apply the Lumi first, then go in, mix a little bit together, and put that in the spot. And then make sure you blend it all out together. It's really, and then if that's too dark, you can go ahead and add a different darker color. Um, these have a tendency to be pretty similar in shade. So you can kind of see that this one is thick and tacky, and this one is super thick. The Kat Von D dries really fast really really fast. I always recommend when you're using the Kat Von D fake foundation you always take one side of your face. Do one side of your face first. Don't put it all over and then think oh I'll just blend it. Do one side first but again not a review on the Kat Von D. So next up is we are going to take the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and we are going to create a foundation shade. Obviously this thing is well used, there's different colors and different things, but what you want to start off with is you want to start off with taking just a darker shade. I'm a clearly not brown, but you will lighten it up or darken it up however you need to do so. So you just kind of get in there, make it, you want to warm it up first so you can use it. But this is where your spatula is going to come in handy because you are not going to be able to just grab that out, it's not liquidy at all. You want to get some on your spatula, so you just take it and you just put it on there. there. To lighten it up, you will take white, which is this color right here. I recommend doing it on two different sides. So you don't want to put it in there because what if now it's too light? You have to go, you go back and forth. So you can use your finger or spatula or whatever you want to do, and you just take the white and you start mixing it in with the brown. And do you see how it's lightening up already? You wanna make sure you get it all in there. The more white I put, the lighter that brown gets. So now, instead of being a deep, dark brown, it's more of a chocolatey brown. So you just, this takes a little bit longer, unless you know exactly what you're doing. So if you're more on the fair side, you'll start off with white and add in brown. So again. Get it to be a different shade. Now we're in more of the tan range. I have added yellow, see? I added yellow. And now it's definitely more in the tan range. So this is like an art project for somebody who's completely a pig like I am. So basically it'll go everywhere if you're not careful. Um, I recommend putting a towel down. I didn't do that, but um, anyway, that is how you mix up the Makeup Forever Flash Palette into a mixable, into a foundation color that you can use. So this is what it would look like on your skin. Now obviously this is more of someone who is yellow based under. So that is how you can mix up some of your foundations to get more of a shade toward you. Always have one that's lighter based and one that's darker based and you can just mix and create it. It's kind of like being a painter. You can make your own color that's personalized just for you. You'll always want to have a darker shade and a lighter shade and then you can work it in to make the perfect color just for you. And this will prevent you having to go out and buy another one or exchange it or whatever. So if you're in a rush or in a pinch and you got really tan or you are suddenly a lot lighter, which seems like you would be more tan, um, you can create your very own makeup shade just using what you have in your house. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!